everybody, I'm back! <laughs> I know I say take what I say with a pinch of salt, but today I'm actually upset by this design, so let's talk about Vaggy and how she's the worst redesign out of everybody so far. I know the word worst seems harsh, but bear with me on this, because I cannot tell you how upset I was by this. Like, seriously, what the heck is this? So you guys know by now, Vaggy is my favorite female character. I've been a fan of her design for years. I mean, I love her first look. The colors are very nice, and I liked her 80s look. I'm a sucker for 80s fashion. And again, the color choice, so cute. And after my first watch, I, I didn't care much for her pilot design, but after a while it grew on me. I liked how red wasn't a major color in her pilot design. Yeah, she still had hues of red, but a lot of her colors were gray toned, which was a nice touch. It makes her stand out the most, but also separates her from the group, which works for her character, since she's not a people person. So when it was announced she'd be dropping next, I made the joke of of hoping that they didn't give her the red treatment that they did Charlie. <laughs> I never truly thought they would. It really was just a joke at the time, but lo and behold, they did. I just sat there dumbfounded like, why? Why red? Her colors have always been gray, purple, and dusty gray pink, and I, I couldn't understand it. And then people in the comments were like, it's her uniform to match the hotel. And okay, that's fine if it's her uniform, but why show her in her uniform? And not her casual wear first, like everybody else. Yes, I know Charlie's outfit is her work outfit, but it's also her casual style as well. All the artwork of Charlie over the years has had her in something similar. She's never really been seen in full-on casual wear. Uh, Alistair, I've seen people make the, a statement about him as well, but surprise, Alistair doesn't work at the hotel. He's more or less an investor at best, so it's only a coincidence he matches. And Angel is a patron, so yeah, he doesn't work there, so no uniform for Angel. So hopefully Husk and Nifty will bring it home with the uniform thing since they actually work there. But for now, just no. Because for me, there's only two things I have issues with right now. And side note, I know people are going to go, it's not a lot of red, but it's the three main parts of her design. Like her bow is now red. Her X is now red. Those are two character parts of her that they've now changed to fit the hotel's color of red, which bothers me. But anyway, uh, my first major issue is the outfit. I can look past the color, and I'm gonna have to, but good god, this outfit is awful. It's like, it's like a mix between 1950s cleaning lady and a McDonald's employee. Like, what about this outfit screams protector of the hotel? Not to mention, it's so boring. Like, all of Vaggie's designs over the years were over the top, yeah. But at least she looked interesting. But now, she just looks so basic. And yeah, I'm gonna talk about the color. This is me. You guys know that. The gloves and shoes are fine, though I wish I knew how Vaggie's feet worked since there's never really a good shot of them drawn the same, but that's off topic. But this cherry red is not the color for Vaggie. Her original red would have been fine. It's not Charlie's red, but at least it's in Vaggie's color palette family and wouldn't make her blend in like crazy. And I mean, yeah, her hair will block her a bit with it being a light gray, but you know, with the lighting of the show going to be red, it's gonna make her blend just a little bit more. And two. Spoilers for those of you who are just finding out, but surprise, Vaggie is actually based on a moth. I'm taking your stunned silence as you did not know that. <laughs> But yep, Vaggy is based on a moth. And for years, people have pointed out that she doesn't look like one. So I was really hoping Viv would do something, anything moth themed. I know Viv has said Vaggy is the most human out of everyone, which made me laugh like crazy because pretty much everybody already looks human except for our husk. So saying that Vaggy is the one that looks the most human seemed kind of like a cop out moment, but whatever. I just wanted something, you know, nothing big or whatever. And lo and behold, I got something, and boy, I'd like it if they took it back. Because yes, Vaggy's hair looks more moth-like, but judging by how it actually works, and thanks to some of the creators who work on the show, I've been able to figure out how it works if she were to stand perfectly still, I can see why her outfit is so plain. All her animation went to her hair! The way that it's designed is, is not animation friendly. <laughs> Also, side note, this is a me thing, but I kind of don't like how Viv does anime bangs. The hairline always seems to fuse with the bangs, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> I can't anymore, you guys. And now I'm genuinely terrified of what Husk and Nifty are gonna look like. <sighs> I know I'm sounding harsh right now, but I'm just, like, super tired. But anyway, let's get on to the redesign. Not with turf wars. The 
that results in territorial genocide? Okay, so I did in fact make two outfits. <laughs> Her work uniform and her casual look, so yeah. But I'm going to talk about the work uniform first, since that's the canon design. Okay, I knew I couldn't use the pilot design anymore, since that's not the direction they seem to be going with her. So I used her older, older designs, plus mine, and picked what would work. For one, I changed Maggie's hair to its original style by being flat, <laughs> but put it in a ponytail for work since she's the protector of the hotel, and I can only imagine how hard it is to fight with all that hair. <laughs> but I did keep the wing shape of the hair since it's in Baggy's bio that she's a more human version demon. Uh, then I changed the bow to look more like moth antennas, just to give the illusion she has them. I also gave the edges of her mouth points, so she has a little nod to real bug elements you know, and made her eye just yellow, similar to Angel's black dye. I really wanted to add fur, but I figured I could add it to her casual outfit instead. Okay, before I go into the outfit, please don't say, oh, she looks like a pirate now. You stop that right now. <laughs> she is not a pirate. I've always had this issue with Viv about adding stuff to characters that don't make sense or, you know, a character already has too much going on. And she did that with Vaggy, with all the pirate art. When she's never said anything about it, I've checked everywhere just to make sure. And all I found was Halloween speed art of Vaggy and a Reddit thread about her background sounds, which Vivzy Pop never said anything about. This was all just speculation of fans. Like, Vaggy's bio hasn't changed much since she dropped other than the year she died. So all the pirate stuff makes no sense. Like, if the background image didn't exist... I doubt anyone would say anything because the work outfit I based this on was the hotel. I know it's got a bunch of other buildings attached to it, but its main architect is very Art Deco inspired, very 1920s meets circus hut. <laughs> so I made Vaggie's outfit a mix of a bellhop and sexy assassin. <laughs> the straps on her legs are to hold weapons, and though the puffy sleeves, though not time period accurate, gave a nod to her 80s look when puffy sleeves were all the rage. I also made her uniform color a more maroon color, still keeping with the purple theme of her basic gray tones, but without stripping her of the red color of the hotel, you know. My roommate calls it a wine color because wine is made from grapes, but wine is usually colored red for some reason when we all know grapes are purple. It's a weird color thing, but, you know, I'm, I kept the red more purple toned than anything, just to keep with the theme. I also wanted to keep something from her past designs. Vaggy has always had an extra X somewhere on her, so I made the pin on her bow an I with an X on it, since X's and I's have always been a part of her design. I did darken her a bit. I feel like many characters are pale, especially characters of color, and since Vaggy is Salvadorian just like me, I figured I'd make her around the same tone as myself. <laughs> And last but not least, I made Vaggie's eye patch a bit more noticeable. I've noticed her hair is always covering it, which is fine, but her floating X of death just makes my head hurt. And a lot of other people as well. I try to keep everybody's comments in mind when I create these redesigns because some of y'all's criticisms do make a little bit of sense. <laughs> I also used Vaggie's eye color as her highlight color for her outfit. As it's the only color that is off from her regular color palette, so it makes a very good, like, highlighter color. But as for Vaggie's boots, I made them actually boots instead of whatever those, whatever Vaggie's wearing. I can never tell. And for just a bit of extra spice, <laughs> I gave Vaggie scars. I always felt it was weird she didn't have them. I know the characters can respond in hell with with no scars or anything in hell, but if she was a weapons expert when she was alive or into fighting, why doesn't she have any more of them? I mean, for a simplistic version, I think it would be better if maybe she just had the one scar coming out from under her eye patch, but, you know, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Not to mention, I'm like crazy happy with her eyelashes. They look way more like moth, moth wings. I don't really like the weird breakup in her eyelashes. <sighs> That's just me. That's a me thing. I've never really liked that part of her design. But anyway, that's all I have for Vaggie's work outfit. It's all pretty simplistic to a degree. <laughs> anyway, on to casual Vaggie. She's fun. You'll like it. <laughs> uh, 
So for casual Vaggie's outfit, I kept the same silhouette as her work uniform and her pilot look by making her bra straps into an overall skirt and made her off the shoulder top into a off the shoulder sweater, <laughs> which is a fun nod to the fact moths eat cotton. I also wanted to keep the eye symbol going, so I put one on her sweater. Viv has said Vaggie will have many different outfits throughout the show, so I'm hoping they'll do something fun with the with the eye symbols she's always been surrounded by. It'd be fun to see her with like an eye themed item in every new outfit she's in but we'll see. Uh, anyway, for the skirt, I figured I'd bring back baggy stripes since that was her signature look because her outfit now without the stripes is bugging me. Like, I knew it was just her sock, but I kind of miss, like, the one striped sock. And the X's, I kind of miss those too. So I made them the buckles of the strap. <laughs> As for the bottom of the skirt, I did find a way to add fur. Still not sold on the color, but I'm happy with it. Also, fun fact for those who don't know, moths are not actually covered in fur. That's not fur. It's scales. <laughs> Nasty, I know, but super fun to, like, blow people's mind with that fact. And Vaggie's gloves. I kept them pretty much the same, but I did make them striped due to the fact that no 2000s goth kid would be caught dead without these bad babies. <laughs> oh, man. These take me back. What a bad time to be goth, right? <laughs> anyway, I did use the Canon Design shoe style. I just changed the colors. However, I did change the way Vaggie's feet and legs work by making them more bug-like. Kind of like Angel's legs, but more angular. You, you see. <laughs> and finally, the bow. I didn't change the style of it. I really didn't see a point to change it, but I did change the color to match her outfit. I'd like to imagine that Vaggie would have different colored bows to match her outfits instead of the same bow for every outfit. And... That's pretty much it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. <laughs> she looks more like how she's described, to me at least. But yeah, let me know what you guys think Think in the comments. I mean, I know I've kind of sped through this, but, you know, Vaggie has a very, you know, Vaggie's very simplistic in a way. But with her, like, weird background bio being so cluttered, it's kind of hard to design something. So I had to minimalize it down to just, like... For the year that she died, the weapons expert, and the moth. So those were my top three that, like, made more sense. Everything else, I kind of just shoved to the side. <laughs> I can't, I, that's another weird thing I would like to bring up. You can add as much stuff as you want to your characters, you know, to flesh them out. But keep in mind that you can't add every little thing that, about them to their outfits. I would like to suggest picking three main things about them that, work for you that you can show how your character is with those three little hints of their character and personality. I would also like to mention that these are not meant to be animated so none of the this is too hard to animate in the comments please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm well aware. But anyway for the next video I will be redesigning Adrian Agrest. I finally figured out what I wanted to do and I'm ready to show show them off so to speak <laughs> and then for the video after that i will be talking about my husband hotel animation friendly designs just a lot of work going on right now i've got i'm busy 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 lately <laughs> but i'm excited and hopefully you all are just as excited as i am <laughs> anyway i hope everyone has a super awesome day and remember to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye